Hey you guys, Beth Brizada here and today we are going to do the August Ipsy Unbagging. So the theme for this month was called Sugar Highness. So I have a lot of mixed emotions about Ipsy lately and a lot of it's just because personally for me it's not necessarily for me. So I understand that with these subscription bags you're supposed to be introduced to new brands so that is one of my chief complaints is a lot of the time I get products from brands that I've just never heard of. Is that necessarily a bad thing? No. Sometimes it's a product that becomes your new favorite thing and you buy more from that brand and that's the idea. However, sometimes these brands I feel like Ipsy just goes with them and you're just like, who is this? But I don't know. So I have a lot of mixed emotions because most of the items in my bag this month are from brands that I've just never even heard of. Um, and then I will get into my chief complaint of why I'm kind of irritated with the bag here in a second. The bag itself is super duper cute this month. I really, really like it. But this is, again, another month where I like the bag and I don't particularly care for the contents. Um, the first item in here is something I will get use out of, but I'm not necessarily excited about. It is the Symphony Beauty Makeup Cleansing Wipes, and these are the moisturizing ones with cucumber and aloe. Now, I am excited because it is a cruelty-free company, and it says it's free of sulfates, alcohol, and parabens. So that is exciting. Um, there are 10 in here. I will probably save these for travel, or I will use these after I am done with my current open pack of Ulta Wipes. So not excited about getting makeup wipes, but good way to learn about the brand, I guess. So it's something I will get use out of. I'm just not like super like, yeah, this is awesome. The next thing in here is the Lord and Berry Maxi Matte Crayon Lipstick. I think the color is called Intimacy, but I'm not really sure. And that is the swatch of it right here. So this is where it becomes a hard struggle because this is a very pretty neutral color. A lot of people are going to like this. The problem is I don't get subscription bags to get neutral colors. I like fun, bright things. And I did that like little questionnaire thingy and specifically said that I like fun, bright things. So I get very irritated when I get sent a nude lip pencil. Will I use it? Probably. Will I get some sort of use out of it? I'm sure. But I'm kind of irritated because it kind of goes back to why I quit Ipsy the first time as I get products that I don't feel like are relevant to me at all. Um, so I don't know. I know that there are plenty of people who bitch and complain when they get products that are bright colors and you know that's why they do nude lip pencils but I feel like that was the point of me taking that quiz when I sign up that specifically states that I like bright fun colors so I don't know I mixed emotions there um, and I know absolutely nothing about this brand I've never heard of them before um, so I'm gonna have to look them up the next thing in here is from a company called Nomad um, they are apparently a cruelty free company which is exciting uh, it's a really pretty color a good sample size it's called Marrakesh Spice Market really pretty that's the swatch of it there, but I'm kind of annoyed because I got a color exactly like this last month from the balm. So again, one of those things where I'm kind of like, okay, clearly you're, you're filling my niche. You got, you seem to think that these are the kinds of colors I like, which is cool, but you're sending me back to back products of the exact same thing. So I don't know. I don't know. I know there are tons of people who get the bags, so I just feel like there should be some sort of algorithm that's kind of like, oh, this person got eyeshadow last month. Let's give them something different this month. Um, especially because it just, it's so similar to the color they gave me last month and the color they gave me the month before that, actually, now that I think about it. The next thing in here is from a company called Jersey Shore Sun. This is the Mongogo, Gongo, Mongongo, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's a vanilla coconut cream lip balm. I'll end up using it. Not super excited to get it. Um, whatever, like it'll get use, but it's one of those things where like, cool. I don't know, I maybe I'm just jaded this month. I just, I'm not digging the bag. I will use it, it'll get used. Absolutely nothing against the company. I'm sure the product is fantastic. And the last thing is the thing that actually set off my annoyance with this bag and really pissed me off. So part of doing the little quiz when you first sign up is you put in your skin tone, things like that. My profile says that I am fair. 
I am fair. Hi, I am pale. I am as white as they come. Piece of paper right here. This month they have the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. There were two color options and for some dumbass reason they sent me the darker of the two. I can't use this. I will get zero use out of this. I will give this away. I am annoyed because when there is a lighter and darker con like color option and you do a quiz that specifically states your skin tone is fair, why was I sent the darker option? This is why I'm in a pissy mood about this bag and why I'm right back to where I was when I canceled the first time. Things like this make me mad. I can't use this. This is completely useless to me. At least the other things in the bag, even if I'm not necessarily excited about them or it's kind of redundant, I can use them. I can't use this. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to give this away to somebody who is in a piece of paper because they sent me the darker option of the two. So I just, I don't understand that. Um, it's just one of those things where it's kind of like, okay, does the quiz actually do anything? Or are you guys just like giving the illusion that the quiz gives us things relevant to our skin and our, our eye color and things like that? So I don't know. I'm going to keep Ipsy for one more month. I'm going to see how next month's bag goes. If they send me another spice colored eyeshadow, which I get is the trend for fall and we're moving towards fall, but the last three months in a row I've gotten an eyeshadow that color. If I get another product that I just simply cannot use based off of the test they gave me, Basically, if next month I'm just as annoyed at the end of my unbagging as I am right now, I'm just canceling. Like, I'm just going to cancel it again and I will get either a different subscription service or I will just save that $10 every month and put it towards just buying something I want. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of sad because I canceled the first time because Ipsy was pissing me off and this was like years ago. Was really, really enjoying it at first and now I'm right back to where I was where I'm just annoyed every single bag. So... We'll see how next month goes. If you're not presently subscribed to the channel, I promise I'm not usually this bitchy. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Um, you guys can see what happens next month that way. And I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I am curious if you get Ipsy. I would love to hear how you're feeling about the bags right now. If it's just me and I'm just the one person who's like getting shit they can't use. Cool story. Um, I'm cussing so much more in this video than I usually do. I usually try to not cuss in my videos. But I'm, like I said, I'm just mad. Alright. For real though. I'll see you guys in my next video. And hopefully next month the bag will be better and we can all be in a better mood. Alright. Bye guys.